got a package and this package comes from California let's see what's inside the package Inside the package, we got a MacBook. And this MacBook is locked with EFI passcode. Let's remove the EFI passcode on this MacBook. It seems like this MacBook has been opened before because I noticed that one of the screws right here is missing. Alright, so the logic board is out from the MacBook. This is the EFI chip on the logic board that I need to reprogram. Let's do that. I'm going to remove this EFI chip from the logic board and reprogram it. The EFI chip is removed. Gonna put this aside right here. 
and I'm going to clean up all these pads right here. Okay, the pads are cleaned, and now let's reprogram this EFI chip right here. The EFI chip is soldered into the reader. Let's test the EFI chip to make sure that none of these pins are shorted. Alright, everything is good and now the EFI chip is ready to be reprogrammed. The EFI chip is connected to the reader, and the reader is connected to the programmer, and the programmer is connected to the computer via this USB cable. And now, let's reprogram this EFI chip. I'm gonna open the programming software, and select the right chip from the database. Go, click on select, click on read, read, click on back, save this file as original dot bin save as ok let's close the programming software now let's open the hex editor this one here click open 
click on this original .bin file click open now click on search find type dollar sign svs click ok here we go select this blocks right here until down here click on edit fill selection type ff click ok now click on file save as I'm gonna name it edited edited dot bin edited dot bin click on save now let's close this hex editor software and open the programming software click on load browse we're gonna select the um, edited.bin file right here click open click OK now we're gonna reprogram this um, edited file to the EFI chip click on prog or program click on program The EFI chip is already reprogrammed. Now let's click on back, close the software, and I'm going to resolder this chip back into the logic board and test the MacBook. I reprogrammed the EFI chip on this MacBook to remove the EFI passcode and I also restored the macOS on this MacBook. And now let's test the MacBook. I'm gonna turn it on and press Command R to boot into the recovery mode. There you go. We see an Apple logo. Earlier we see the padlock that asking for the EFI pin or EFI passcode. Right now we see an Apple logo.
And there you go. We are booting into the macOS recovery without even need to enter the EFI passcode. The next test is, I'm going to shut this down. And I'm going to plug this macOS installation USB to the MacBook and try to boot into um, the macOS installation USB. Turn it on and hold option. There you go. You see all the selection of macOS um, installation media on the screen. All right, I'm gonna select this macOS Big Sur and see if the MacBook can boot from the macOS installation USB. There you go. The MacBook can boot from the macOS installation USB. Alright, I'm going to shut it down. Unplug the USB. Turn it back on. Gonna log in with the password that I set up. And there you go. The EFI passcode on this MacBook is removed and the MacBook is fixed.